Okay, so for the moment, I'm going to set aside the graphics render graph because it's while it's refined, it's it's not really there yet. It's not the final stages that I was hoping for, but I'm not entirely sure how to proceed with it right now. There's definitely things I want to do, but I just don't know how to do them. So instead, it's time to maybe move off of it, do something else, maybe come back to it. And to do that, I was thinking of working on simulation slash resource management and stuff like the resource component data and all that stuff that is slotted into here. Components and resources and all that and their loaders. While it's in a similar state, right? It's, it's functional. It works. It's a little grokky. It's a little not quite there it's had some refinements for sure but it's not there yet for example um if i look up here something i struck yes this i have this why do i have the asynchronous task function both when i'm creating simulations and when i'm initializing them right why like it's presumably i'm passing the same thing in both times like do i really need this when I'm creating why do I why do I why <sighs> why where does this go where does this go where does it go so obviously we're creating stuff we're going on the on create function presumably there it is there's the create info we pass it to a new sim state when I'm creating simulation and I'm bringing stuff in I have this create info which is the um okay okay so i have as part of this i have I'm wrapping it around with a simulation synchronization for some reason. This doesn't really sound correct. And I'm passing the sim state to the onCreate function. So let's say I have the onCreate function. Okay. Easy now. What I want to do. If I was to, let's say, do this. What breaks? pretty easy it gets to this point okay this breaks so we have new sim state i'll create info so i need to find okay right right okay then it proceeds down to Registrar, okay, here's the interesting thing. The registrar is giving it to the faux resource functions. Is this it? Is this the one location? And then this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, we've got a bunch of locations like that. Okay, so as part of, let's reset these back then. So I want to go to, sorry, not that. I want to reset them, please. So the resource functions, I'm passing it as part of that. This is being passed into a resource pool, and then it would be passed into, yeah, right? Yeah, we're going, and then it would be passed down to a resource itself. In this case, full armature is the first one in the compilation queue, so it's the one that fails first. What is it being used? So this is p resource function is being passed in at the time of creation to this. It's at a pointer that's part of. Let's go to the declaration of this. Presumably, I guess it's being passed in down to the resource base, which is then setting it here, which is just a const pointer. Okay. 
So, first things first. What I want to do then is to have the ability to not necessarily do it asynchronously. Let's say if I create a simulation that does not have an asynchronous task function, that means, of course, presumably it would be synchronous instead, which means <clears throat> I need to, at the point of these calls, so presumably we'd have something like this and a couple of, yeah, other resources right here. Uh huh. I have two locations when I do the create and when I do the actual loading of the resource on each of the resource types that I have. Okay. Closed, close others, just close all the others. First part of this is this, where we're going to have to, let's say auto create function equals this. I want to do like if, I want to have the ability to not have asynchronous function. So if this exists, then, you know, then do this, whoops. Then this with the create function like that. Otherwise, just run it uh, inline asynchronously. So like create function run like that. Whoops, like that. Oh, there we go. And then do that for all the other locations. So we have one here. So, sorry, which one was this? Wait, oh, I did it here, down here. Create, and then we have uh, load. If that. Gives me far more flexibility. I like that. Nope, 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 nope. Create function. Yeah, this is still that.
go function that. Whoops. Nope. Wrong one. There we go. One more pair, right? No. Yeah. Okay, we got a bunch of issues from that. That makes sense. Let's not quite remove this yet. So let's say I do this. Hmm. Actually, that still leaves what was it doing up in <clears throat> simulation? There was another thing it was here for. Get it out of here. Registrar in here. Uh, the P simulation state create info task function. Okay. <clears throat> if I can't quite. Do that, can I? Because I still have that. Wait, hold on. P simulation state create info. When I was creating the simulation. The new sim state create info. This was always wait. This was all of them were locked behind one. Huh. That is terrible. That is actually terrible. Um. Hmm. Because I'm assuming right now, if okay, let's just let's actually just debug and see what's happening, shall we? what okay we're here because we're doing uh yeah yeah we're trying to load a single resource and we're going into here to do a shared <sighs> a shared mutex it's not mutual exclusion anyways a, a, a shootex um, why am I doing this? I'm doing this so that way I can lock it if I need to do something along the lines of when I'm creating a simulation or when I'm destroying a simulation, when I'm deinitializing a simulation, I'm acquiring an exclusive lock, right? Yeah, it gets a simulation sync and locks it entirely. That's why I have a second layer of um, indirection. Is that a good idea? I am not really sure, not really on board with that. I 
Maybe there's another because that's just way too high le high a level for these things to my mind. Way way too high. Maybe. Okay. Here's an idea. That's if okay if. If, 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 if. I want to move this from the creation stage anyways. So by default, when you create resource, when you create a pool and then their resources, right? Because it's grabbing the async function, async task function from its pool, right? It's a, it's a pointer, right? resource function const pointer which would so be a pointer to the guy that's on the pool it would be this guy when I'm adding and stuff right yeah it's a pointer to that so if this has that as a null then it's going to be synchronous that's fine if it's asynchronous I might want to do like a something else in here I think At a far more fine grain level, perhaps. Hmm. Okay. That's later. I can't do that now. I just can't. Rolling back to simulation. There's too much stuff going on. Way too much state in my head to keep track of. What I want to do is at the create simulation level. Registering functionality. Sorry, where are we? There we go. Create simulation. Do I want to do this here? Not really. What about during initialization? Because I do have initialization, right? Somewhere in here. Yeah, you right there. I p in an info. The in an info has. Actually, hold on. Am I even using this right now at all? This. Am I using it here for anything whatsoever right now? Oh, one right there where I set it. And that's it. So the answer is no. So, okay. Let's create a new branch. Sim work. So first of all, I'm going to remove this async task job function from here. I'm going to also remove it from here. Okay. Okay. Make sure things are going to not quite die horribly here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Other than being set. Initialization. 
confused by anything. I must have had something in mind for it earlier, but I must have lost it in the meantime. So, one thing out of the way. Secondly, the async task function. This should not be here at creation. Rather, it should be something I can add or remove at runtime because the idea being I want to maybe like on a per uh, pool basis, I perhaps I can like set it to be, you know, multi-threaded or single threaded based on whether I'm debugging something or not, you know, like on a per whatever basis. So I should be able to set and reset on the pool, their associated pools, which will then set this to happen one way or the other. So let's say if I just don't um, let's say I ha do I do I even use collision shapes right now? Probably not. Or maybe I'm just not running. Fit yeah, not at all. This is a uh, yeah, not happening. Okay, let's find something I do use. I definitely use the armature, right? I do have the skeleton, at least for graphics rendering yeah that that okay so let's say I do this on armature and then I do on armature pool I'm going to say hey you know um, equals at blank it's just it's blank whatever Um, right. Mm -hmm. I must have had it in create info so I could do like that const this at create time all right back to armature right we get back to this point and instead I'm just running it straight right here in line quickly as possible okay let me just speed up the time of the boot up time of this by just turning off the validation debug locking whatever as fast as possible right much faster yeah So we got those. So I've got this. I'm not going to do this here. Well, I'm also not going to be touching this here. This, yes, yes, yes. Okay. Okay, so this one is what, just async work um,
save here. If the synchronously via in the create or load function. Okay. So now rolling back to this, can I get rid of this, this create info what altogether? I'm pretty sure the answer is yes, if I'm not going to be doing that. Because ultimately what I want to try to do is I want to try to rework the initialization info. What I really want to do is be able to like in it or de-in it, let's say, graphic session separately from everything else. I don't want it to be all or nothing, right? I want to be able to initialize, de-initialize graphics or audio or whatever else. On a simulation at will, arbitrarily, almost entirely arbitrarily. And that means it can't be all together as well. That's, that's going to be the next thing I want to tackle after this. So getting rid of this, I do not want or need this anymore, please. Goodbye. So I'm just going to get rid of that. <clears throat> That's gone. Okay. This is just gone. Ah, maybe, okay, maybe I'd keep it around. I mean, why? Why would I cre keep it around? I need to keep it around if I create stuff afterwards. No, get rid of it for the moment. I can re-add it later if I actually want to use it. But I have no desire to do so right now. So that goes away. the others as well to do. So that's one, two, three, four, and five, and six. And one more for collision shapes on physics, which aren't even being used right now. When was this? Seven months ago? Show me the thing again. Ah, uh, yeah, okay.
Don't need that. Don't need that. Quite yet. Okay, we'll just kind of do that for the moment. Keep it there. Because I'm probably still going to want to use it soon. This just means it's all done synchronously. It's still going to work. Yeah. Perhaps I want to add some more logging to this. Hmm. Now this should still be here because I can still call it from two. I can call the load create from two threads even if it's being synchronously done. So that's not going to happen. So that would return. Otherwise, I'd be. I'd have to have. <sighs> Do I want to call it? Do I want to like verbose this? I might. Uh, yeah, I will. No, it's creating. Synchronously. And then down here would be load, right? Rather a little bit too much logging than too little. do it for the others so that's that one graphics resource of the others right image down here need to kind of fix up my nomenclature for this stuff as well. Don't I? Which I'll do soon. Asynchronously, <clears throat> that one. But do the same thing here. I'll just keep this out of the recording because this will be boring. Okay, that should be all of them. So let's go through image. So we got 
create image, create image, async, sync, async, sync, image, image, load, load. Okay, one, two, create, 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 async, sync, load, load, na, 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 good. Mesh, create, create, mesh, mesh, async, sync, load, load, mesh, mesh, async, sync. Okay. What's going on here? Yeah, okay. That's got an extra S. Create, create, shader, shader, async, sync. Load, load, shader, shader, async, sync. Vertex descriptor, create, create, VD, VD, async, sync. Async double S, nope. Load, load, yeah, yeah. Collision shape, create, create, shape, shape. Async sync, async sync, shape shape, load load. Finally, armature, create create, armature, async sync, load load. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm going to stash this. Three, we're gonna sorry no 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 this goes here this is gonna be a squash change resource async work behavior yep verbose log messages Okay, uh, import state, now we're back to this point. I have ripped out import state from all of that. So it's all going to be done synchronously if I was to run it right now, I presume. Synchronously, synchronously, synchronously. Mm-hmm. So what is it being actually? Attempted to load shader in parallel. Everything is synchronously. And I keep trying to hit uh, the shader over and over and over again while it's being done. Cool. And we're back out. Hmm. All right, so now I removed this from all of these because I'm going to be adding it from a different angle. It's going to be on an individual um, pool basis, I th think that would make the most sense. Yeah, so I can have most of them be asynchronous and just selectively turn it on and off on that basis on a on a different basis. So. Move async. Tasks 
asynchronous fashion. Or rather, should be Better granular control and of behavior, which will be starting, this, which I will start to set up now. So I have this. Great. Uh, what I want to do then is I want to just add or perhaps remove on a per whatever basis. Simulation here. So I can either on a per pool do this, where I'm gonna say, hey, I'm gonna void Task, task function or void reset task function. I can change it at will basically. And this will be what standard function? Like that. This will then set that inside of here, or otherwise not. This is almost something I could probably set at the resource pool base level. Maybe, depends. It's just something I want to set basically for everything. Yeah, but, oh wait, then why do I have this, but not that? Oh, because, hold on, when I am running application, when I'm trying to retrieve, yeah, getting a resource pool, I am using, relying on templates for the dynamic cast to find if it's the right same type. All right, hmm. may not be on all of them. I could actually just set, and I could just pass it a blank one, just to make things simpler. Yeah. Yeah, I could. Yeah, that's what I'm. That's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to have the one, and that's it. So get find unload all. Wait, where does this get vector all data? Oh, it's just yeah. Okay, so it's before unload all. So it'll be here. Just grab this.
Can't be const. But that'll work, right? It's no longer no longer const. Right? Okay, what's going on? What is this? Is this a different type that I just don't know about? Uh, yeah, because it's a function that takes in a function, right? Okay, and that's that's what we go around with. Okay, got that. I'm gonna do the same thing for collision shape pool here. I just want that source side pool just before the unload all. Why am I exporting this? Oh no, I'm not exporting it. Right, because of Microsoft Visual Studio. Hmm, I may want to switch this to private implementation then, but how do I do dynamic? Hmm, I'm going to have to figure out how to, how to do dynamic casting well in a, a non-C++ format if I want to do that, don't I? Yikes. Avoid that. It's no longer const. Uh, the const again. All right, let's kind of make sure that these are all looking f 
fine and dandy. Okay, now let's say I want to add for one. I'm just going to add it to um, mesh. Let's just add it to mesh. So then these two should uh, switch to asynchronous if I do it. So resource pool. Let's just go through the in, this is the initialization. Yeah. Go through. I'm going through. Going through. Blah 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 blah. I create the upload context. I'm creating. Here we go. Simulation. Da 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 da. Mesh pool. Load resource. I'm doing this, and I'm saying, "Hey, set async task function equals whatever it was." So initialize simulation set. Ah, what it was was previously async task function, which was what where. Just not even here. Up, 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 up. There we go. Uh, it's not even being done asynchronously, anyways. It's all being done synchronously, so whatever. Cool. So in shader says it's asynchronous, asynchronous. Okay, so this would work quite well. Um, all of these, correct? Yeah. Let's close this up. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, we've got all that, then we want to go back to application, because what I want to do is then, if I provided a blank one, that should basically reset it to synchronous. Right? Yeah. Okay. Do I have, do I want a reset function? That's kind of the really big thing. I don't think so. I mean, do I, no. No, no, okay. synchronously of course I'm doing all of this under the basis of you know it's all being done technically synchronously anyways 
Great job, me. Great, just great. Genius. Okay, so async task. I'm curious. Would this add, would, like, is this gonna, is it, does this break? Does this break right now? Hmm? No. I wonder what the load time would, I mean, the load time would be insignificant at this point anyways. But okay, it's been about an hour. I'm gonna quick break, get a bit of a more of a drink, and then we'll move on with what I'm thinking of doing next, which was the separation of the thing that was this has all been leading to, which is the new method for. Uh, initializing and deinitializing individual bits of state from a simulation or uh, like session state i should say it's like graphics splitting like graphics and um audio and whatever session information from a simulation state so i can do them individually in it and de-init them using perhaps different backends at or practically any time so brb okay so I'm not entirely sure on splitting out graphics session or what would eventually become others because why why would I graphics would be what this I'd have graphics that can have a different back end engine Vulkan DirectX whatever else Perhaps the same thing would be happening for audio as well. You'd have different audio engines. But then, like, what I'm doing... Okay, let's find something that has this. Yeah, bam. Okay. Registrar, where I pass it in. So let's say image loader initialize. Okay. It's bringing in both that and that. This is used for pulling in data. The other thing is for that. Hmm. Hmm. In order for this to initialize, I need both. External file search is something that's kind of set up at the beginning of the application. Mm, except when you're loading and unloading. No, 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 that would make sense. Okay, that's that still does make some sense. Um, okay, why Okay, why would I split out the graphics? Because I wanted to unload and load up, or initialize, deinitialize, or just not even exist on certain applications. If I'm running a server side, do I need graphics? No. Do I need audio? No. So perhaps it'd be, oh, also graphics is technically disjointed, right? If I, yes, down here, the maintenance loop for graphics is disjointed from the rest of it. It may not run every single time. Like you may have a couple of frames or ticks where it just runs really fast while it's waiting for a free frame for frames worth of information to, uh, uh, you know, when acquiring an uh, empty presentation image, if it can't, then it'll just go through and try to do another process tick. That's separate. That is also separate. If that's the case, then I do want graphic session to be separate. It needs to be separate. And so I will actually go through with separating it. So you'd have like optional uh, sim data sim data sim whatever something like that you have required which will be things like the external file search that's always required i think for most things then you'd have optional do i have a graphic session if i don't you know don't don't worry about it you don't need it who cares 
Um, and then, okay, so yeah, graphic foe, graphics session. That is the thing. That means up here, I will have to follow through. Sorry, not here. Ooh, where is it? When I am adding something, I am registration here. I'll need new ones. I need for on initialization and I need on graphics initialization and similar. Okay. Yeah. Okay. On graphics initialization. This is what's going to happen. I need a few more functions. Simulation. Sorry, not this. What am I operating on? I'm operating on both state lists. And then for graphics session. That's what I'm bringing in. When. Graphic session. On a simulation. Okay, I need that. So I do need that. So I need that. I need include. Oh, graphics session. .htp. Like that. Void star on graphics. De initialization simulation state lists so this is required this is optional that's what's going on required called when a graphics session is being removed from a simulation. I'd also want it to actually return error code, right? Technically. I'd also want this to do similar. So, okay. What am I doing? I just I only loaded those two. I don't know where the other nine are coming from. Or seven. Simulation. Registration. Okay, simulation. Do, do 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 We have this. Create simulation. Destroy simulation. On... Simulation state. Oh, and it needs to include that. De initialize graphics simulation. De initialize graphics. Initialize simulation graphics. There we go. That makes sense. Deinitialize simulation graphics. Network. 
code. Do, 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 do. Um, and here I need to graphic session. Okay. Right, uh, running down to simulation, simulation. Going all the way down here. In order for this to work, I'm going to have to actually go through and modify a whole number of other things first, aren't I? Or would I? Yeah, I'm going to have to do that. Um, okay, first of all, let's just focus on adding the new thing so then I can start removing the old one. I don't want to do both at once, technically. So, I need to also have the deinitialization. Let's see if I can figure that one out. First, it's just easier. Scope lock, I need to lock the M sync. Yeah, okay, I can probably do that. Okay, what's going on here? Why am I locking what is M sync? That's just for everything, it looks like. M-Sync, acquiring an exclusive lock, yeah, on everything, okay. That makes some sense. Hmm. Okay, makes sense there. If initialized. Peak simulation. Do -do -do. initialize graphics okay, why is this separate I need to rem remember why this is separate because this is probably going to call exclusive lock sorry is this like a recursive mutex it's a shared mutex this is a regular mutex Okay, this is a different one. Okay. Hmm. Not entirely sure. Okay. Give register functionality. Graphics initialized. Oh, simulation state const star the simulation state. I need to do that. That that okay. Is graphics initialized? Do do do. The const is not. There, it's supposed to be there. Thank you. Return simulation state. Mm, not equal to no handle. This is also going to change to something else in a moment, actually. Dot return not not that. to this, thank you. Initialize 
graphics. That. Um, I had also needs to return that, please. Otherwise, I want to return something that says, hey, you know, um, I have error codes, right? Error code, okay. Okay, we've got that. Return that. Otherwise, return this, which is going to go. Flow simulation is. Sorry. Which should be here. What? Okay, this is here. This goes up here. Yeah. So how this works is deinitializing simulation state graphics. With that simulation state, thank you. Acquire the exclusive lock of this simulation, P reason. And graphics. Iterate through all and deinitialize. So for going through all the functionality that is registered. If functionality dot on graphics deinitialization, okay, functionality dot on graphics deinitialization of the simulation state, okay, and then that should go through to that and p simulation state graphics session equals so normal handle. Would be there? Would there be anything else I need to go for with it? I don't know. Probably. Hmm. And then I need to just say, hey, you know, I'm I'm done here. Okay, why is there a difference here? Why? I don't know. Hmm, we'll find out. Okay. To initialize uh, simulation graphics, it should be up here, right? Not that. If error code. Oh yeah, this should never fail. This cannot be. This cannot be allowed to fail. Don't fail. Okay, this cannot fail. Okay, this, okay, this is just void. 
can say something like that. That's fine. Simulation success. Otherwise, return graphics not initialized. Yeah. Okay. Back to this. Let's have a look how this looks. Uh, can I split this right? Thank you. Error code. If this graphic session okay, if it's already initialized, uh, that's bad. Spit out the little error. Simulation error graphics already initialized. true because right now it is all required hmm. so I want to be able to so a test for this would be like hey can I run it for five seconds then turn on graphics will it work will it will it will it not who knows nobody knows magic is it simulation is graphics initialized yes no do, do, do. okay then we get to the point where we're initializing That graphic session equals graphics session. All right, exclusive lock on this. If that, if we have that, to do, error code equals
which would be just including the what um why on initialization is that and that I don't need that I just need the graphic session true okay Simulation success. Okay. Well, in this case, we have to deinitialize simulation graphics. that error otherwise we need to do this close graphics and then we say hey p simulation uh simsync dot unlock and we're done so back to this error code equals that i need to if error code then i just want to break out Pretty similar, yeah. <laughs> so, <clears throat> at this point, what I want to do is I would want to make sure is at the point of initialization. Down here, we'll have something that is this. Okay, we initialize that, and then we want to initialize initialize simulation graphics. that and then we want to do something similar down here because so we have something like that does that break anything? That better not break anything. I hope it doesn't break anything. Because... Good. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, next is the question of how do we... I need to start splitting up items so it doesn't require graphics. So... Registration. I could probably just... Not here. Here. Get rid of, it. Getting rid of this little point. Pinpoint, ah, pinpoint me to everywhere where this is a problem. Such as right here, right? If
if this is already initialized. Okay, great. Next. And here we go. We have the on initialization function right here. The on deinitialize. So here we go. Void on graphics deinitialization. These are all the ones that have Where is this? Where is this declared? Graphics. Thing, initialize, deinitialize. Okay, this is definitely requiring a bit more stuff to go on down here, but I think I can handle that. Turn and graphic session not equal, so no handle. So this is if return um that otherwise if it's not initialized in the first place then i need to return fo hmm. Loader not initialized, you need to return that. Otherwise, I want to carry on and do the rest of the things, which would mean I need to create this. So I need the graphic session, it creates that. That, go to initialization. Initialize graphics, return error code. I need to remove that from here. There's no error code here. So I just need to return 
that. Hmm. Take this out. Turns into auto. This returns that way. Mm -hmm. Okay, I need to also figure out exactly like what nomenclature am I going to go with the short three thing or the longer graphics? I don't know. I don't. I I don't know. I don't know. That's the point. Nobody knows. Next, material loader. Wait, yeah, material loader. So swapping out to here. Auto this. That and that. Okay. We require all three of these. Yeah, that's actually something. Image loader. When I'm deinitializing this, okay, yes, that just is blanked out, that's fine. Hmm. Yeah, okay. So back down here, initialize graphics, deinitialize and whatever. So deinitialize, I need to go through descriptive pool, that, 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 these things. Then this is the other part. Oh, did I actually set? Else, um, that. So, first part of this graphics resource. Session is gone. 
Session is gone. Material loader, it is gone. Just like that. Mm -hmm. This session do 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 goes all the way down to here. And to here, technically down to here. that turn that No, 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 that's not required here yet. Leave it like that. Simplify. This is the only thing that's happening. So if error code equals that, deinitialize. Else, and graphic session equals that. Like, do I need this for, gra I do need this for this, for when I'm deinitializing. So, and do I need the same thing back on uh, image loader? Probably deinitialize. Mm, not necessarily, but I should probably just set it up real early. Anyways. Okay. I just close everything. If I can do this a bit cleaner. <laughs> okay, next. Shader loader. Graphic session is going away. Mm -hmm. That's going away. Shader loader. these three things and we do it again down here Initialization, we just check not not this. For this, if There's literally no way for these things to fail.
Hmm. All right, next will be the mesh loader, correct? Okay. So I need this stuff here. error code if that then we can just scrap all that do this pass that around otherwise we deinitialize graphics and deinitializing graphics is this Something like that. Mm -hmm. Oh, and I need to return this. Shader loader and I'd have vertex descriptor loader, I presume being the last one, unless do I need it? Something else going on here? Graphics, deinitialize graphics. Mm -hmm. This just doesn't even have it. What's going on here? There's just nothing to do with graphics whatsoever here. So yeah, I don't even need this. Required by here, correct? Mm -hmm. So I have some other item, registrar. Okay, what's going on here? Uh, yes. Right. Camera and position and the animation pools, all three currently use that. So that's internal to this. So let's find this. There you are. Uh, let's find the declaration for this. Hmm. 
This is using stuff directly. Yeah, okay. Okay, let's uh, first external stuff. Then when we're deinitializing internal stuff, then external stuff. There's not even really a deinitialize to happen there. Like, what's going on? Uh, okay, those are two external items. VK, blah, blah, blah. This is internal stuff, technically. Mm hmm. Do that, return that directly. That's good. Back to camera system, get rid of the graphics session from here. It's turning from this into an error, or actually, no, I'll, I'll just keep that with that right now. I'm not going to try to, because something's probably already expecting it to be. Wait, why would it? That would be far more expected at this point. Oh, and then initialize just is that that? Turn VK success. I guess. I don't think I have an error code for this, really. Um, not really, no. Okay. So next. Descript uh, positions. Looking pretty similar again. So these again.
return that. Otherwise, I need to... Oh, 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 yeah. And camera system, I need to return... For initialized, I just need to return true. It's always basically that, right? No, no, no. Return... Not equal null pointer. That back down to this. Return this. Not equal null pointer. De initialize so we got the internal, so the external. Have a deinitialize for this. Beyond, I'd have to set m d position equals null pointer. I do. that so we can return the error code correct yeah initialized graphics da -da 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 -da. And that would just leave uh, animation, right? Yeah. on the first once over
and I need to include error code. Get the conversion, right? Yeah. I uh, got a bit of a pro. Yeah, this is gone. That's great. So I just need to do these in reverse order. So empty render state pool. Two state pools and two component pools. Wait, state pools? No, they're all just state pools are components right now, and the armature and mesh are resources. That's why they're separate. Yes. Equals that. Okay. Hmm. This is gone. Mm -hmm. Okay. <sighs> this is going to be broken somehow. No doubt. Yes. Wonderful. Okay, good. Because, what's going on here? I'm creating a shader. Why am I creating a shader? I'm here. I'm loading the resources. I have materials. Load function. Okay, I'm in load function. Going into here. Mm -hmm. Loading the resource. Okay. I'm going into the load function still. Here I am. P whatever. So I'm finding whoever can actually do this. And I have the graphic session of nothing. Because in the shader loader, do I set it? I don't think I, I do set it. But I haven't set up the hooks in the registration uh, registrar yet. That's why. Mm -mm -mm. So. Right here. Would it be here? On, create, on, destroy, on. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I need some... And thank you. Also, actually, hold on. This would also be I'd also need something similar here. Do I have an equals equals? Testing it. I don't. Th 
that. Okay, we've got that. Um, back to this part where I need to add these. So what's going on? On initialization, on graphics initialization. So I need this. Just quite a bit. I need to go through and do I just have uh, graphics session. What is this? Okay. Where am I? I'm down here. So I'm here. I want to go through. I would still need to go through to find the base one, wouldn't I? That is a true. Yeah, okay. So. So we do that right there. That's fine and dandy. We're here, we got this. Can you do that? We have that and that. So it's just this, initialize graphics with the graphic session. The material loader. That's all I'm looking for. I don't need the whatever in it count of this. Nor should that technically be true, but hmm. This doesn't even need to happen. There's no graphics session state for this thing. The graphics. If it was initialized by someone else in the chain, yeah, that's true. Then continue. And yeah, that's what this is for. Okay, we got that. We got on graphics deinitialization. Why is this not happening? What's wrong with you? Simulation state. Different return type. Ah, yes. Okay. Number two down here in the registrar. Okay. Mm-hmm. 
One, two, and three. Great. Then down to this guy who's in the state list. That's great. And we have the graphics. Wait, hold on. The armature system is the one I don't actually... screw this up indeed oh nope wrong area animation pool get rid of these Initializing graphics, initialize graphics. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Too few arguments to call on this. Are you sure? Oh, yeah, yeah, the um, state list. Still gonna break somewhere, I'm sure of it. Ooh, yeah. Okay. Is it the same place? Mm, almost. Okay. Not sure this is really the place I was looking for. Okay, if I was here and I'm in the shared load function, which means I'm inside of here. Hmm. Still don't have it. Why is shader loader not pulling this stuff in? It's part of the registrar, correct? I do initialize it, correct? Search loaders, search loaders. On destroy, deinitialize, on initialization. Do, 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 do. Image loader, material, shader loader. Okay. So let's find this. It's not even called. Okay. We have serious issues. Hmm? Hmm. So this has been added. This is going to have some real stuff. So is that. 
go back to simulation we're going to have to go to let's say the application right about here it's just go through and see if it actually fires off anything right okay hold on that's not correct why is this Is it just because I'm not zeroing it at the beginning, perhaps? Or initialize simulation, do 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 do. In an info, that's fine. Okay, let's just say as part of this, the application, I'm here. Uh, whoops, no, no, get out of F4, F5. I'm here. What is simulation set? It's not even here. Graphic session is be 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 It's not being when it's created. It's not clean. Cool. When I create simulation. And now I do have uh, that. So we got further till we got to this guy who's be 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 be. So who's this? Camera system. Okay. Did I not initialize cameras? Who am I? My device is that. My allocator is that. My camera pool is that. A position pool is that okay that's not right registrar obviously that's not right camera okay we're here Oh, the one I'm looking for. Thank you very much. Faux camera system. I'm just never called it. Really, 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 really. On initialization is still there. So is that? Yes. So why is this one not? happening he thinks he's initialized doesn't he all right all right all right all right all right Another hour, 20 minutes. Okay, let me grab another quick drink. Okay. <clears throat> so I needed to go through, and basically, wherever these things are, I need to just say, hey, you know, you're uh, you're no pointer. Get out of here, man. Okay, one. No pointer, no pointer, that. Great. Mesh loader. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, so in rolling down to here, yeah. And there we are. Back in place. Now let's see. Do I have, I do have address sanitizer on. So if I go back and do build foe, and then run that for do 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 a few seconds, and we quit back out, we'll have a bunch of leaks, mostly from LiveXCB that I don't really know about. That same thing with that. 24, 24, YAML, 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 YAML. Okay. That's okay. All right. Then I need to add more error code checking stuff, don't I, from this? Don't I really do, don't I? Because, like, I'm not really checking to see if... this actually exists or if it's been initialized on all the others so let's begin image loader <clears throat> if not this fix resource Error, um, image loader, not initialized. Hmm, I need the error codes. search provided so we'll do that that and then that what else we got that's just other stuff okay next up here we want to check first of all that Well, maybe I just do that. Initialization failed. And we just kind of leave it at that. Well, not that, sorry. Image loader. Back to material loader. Over here. If that or that, okay. Otherwise, success. That's great. Mm-hmm. We can do that as we do, okay. If not initialized. Material loader not initialized. Okay, next. Mesh loader.
Wait, does Material Loader not have external file search? That's true. Okay. Strange. There'll be a reason for it. Uh -huh. If not that, we do that. Otherwise, we need to say, hey, you know, this isn't initialized. That doesn't even have graphics, so that's fine. But this does. Is also correct. Right, I need to add these to the error codes. <sighs> so, general is still that one. We've got these two, image loader. That in loader initialization failed and not initialized. Tests, right? We have te we don't have test for this. Okay. Okay. I guess it makes sense. This is not a permanent solution for this. Okay, but I still want to do things along the lines of like if. Right, 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 if the uh, thing isn't there. So if, no, that's fine. Material loader, this has initialized for shader pool. Those are checked. Mesh, that is checked. Shader loader, that is checked. Vertex descriptor loader, it's, uh, where is it? That is checked. They come on all the way down to here. So we need to do if some more generic types in here, right? Um, I 
off to the side. So initialization failed. Not initialized, that's great. Give me this. This also turns into that. Oh, no. Checked. Put in. Correct. Correct. Checked. Deinitialize. Mm -hmm. This is returning standard error code. Is this one standard turning? Yes, it is. Do I check it? Do I check this stuff? The answer is no, I do not. animation doing that we're going to here we're not checking anything of course bunch more checks in place that's great I need to do more elsewhere as well no doubt uh, right return type Okay, where did this happen? Okay, okay, I'm locking something with a deadlock with a require exclusive lock. Curious. Why? Okay, I have initialized, I attempted to initialize, I failed at some point with a graphics resource error category, something or other. So I need to do this in a different order. I need this needs to be first, so I can actually read it. You know, please, thank you very much. Before it decides to crash. Okay, I've acquired the exclusive lock. Um. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so interesting. I still have the lock when I go into this. That is incredibly unfortunate. 
but I should really keep it. Yeah, okay. The acquisition of this should happen uh, not in here, but should happen down here, like there. Similarly for the other one. So if I'm D in it, this, don't acquire it here, acquire it externally because if I'm going into that from internally like this then that's that's a problem so um Okay, I need another error code for this. Uh, simulation. Error code. Okay, this no longer exists, but instead we got error uh, not initialized. Simulation error, not initialized, okay. So if we're not, turn that. Then we do these. And return that. Simulation something not provided, that's great. I need another. <laughs> Where was it? Right here. That is woefully incorrect. Initialized. Which I don't even see here. Got those. I need to switch this over to a 
much better one, such as must be one around here somewhere. You, yes, result case. Wanted to define that, please. That, 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 and that, and then we have that and that. I guess we're going to be shrinking that. With the two new simulations, which is this one and this one. Now I've forgotten why I was here. Simulation. Oh yeah, because I was doing the. Uh... Hmm. Because I failed to initialize for something. And then failed horribly. Seg fault here. When I'm getting the device here for some reason. So <clears throat> I'm initializing graphics. I'm in the right place. So I'm searching and deinitializing graphics because why? I was here. I tried to initialize. I failed when I was initializing something in there. And then I come into here. Material loader. This is B B B B as expected. I need to double check what's going on in here. That's a null handle. That's a null handle. Do 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 that's a null handle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look at these bugs I'm squashing. Okay, next. I am scope locking something that I must have recursive, right? Somehow. Creating shader. When I, okay, hold on. I'm where, where am I? I'm here at this point. Okay, I'm loading resources. I'm past this, that. Okay, where am I? Who is this? This is not real. Okay, backing up. Where am I here? I'm creating a shader. Okay. My layout is based on... Okay, this has no session. What is this? I have no session. I was given no session. Rolling back, shader loader has what? No session. Okay. Did I set? Yes, I did. This is just never called again for some reason. So, do I have an error? Fair to initialize simulation state graphics due to error. Material loader not initialized. Okay. I should actually read the bloody error log I created myself. So, material loader is not initialized. Initialized is, yeah, that's looking at the wrong thing. It should be looking at something like this.
Hey, we're back on. So let me just do a few more. Things like that. if it's a single one is does it so we got that do 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 going all the way back down here That is incorrect. That is very incorrect. That is, in fact, not even being reset. First of all, these both should be reset like this. Then secondly, I need to make sure that everything is being properly whatevered here. So we've got that, we've got that. We need to set this. The binding is whatever, zero. That is a null handle, actually. Uh, no, we're here. Actually, build foe engine. Run it with address sanitizer. Let's have a look at what's going on in there. And we get YAML, YAML, YAML. This is YAML again. And then the other mysteries. Okay. Well, that's that. I need to add the error codes for this. Right? I don't have a test for it, actually. Okay. Close all, close all. Here we go. Error code. New ones. Yes. Double check that on the other side that these exist. Yes. Image loader, swapped out error code, session is down, added these ones, okay. Um, we do a check, set, return. Uh, we're resetting, yep, we're doing a not not. Check, set, return, checks, set, return, I reset, check, check, set, blah, 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 mm -hmm. return, okay. Mesh loader, 
We're actually checking for stuff now. That's correct. Initial order, initialization failed. Got the new ones down here on graphics initialization. Do 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 do. We add them there. We add them down here. That's good. Okay. Error code. New stuff that goes along here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah. That, that, and that. We added a new type there for the deinitialize the graphics. We added these, correct? Um. Uh, that's just gone now entirely. So the only init info, whoops, that is, yeah, graphic session. Mm -hmm. Okay, I need some more stuff on that. I'll add that later. Swap this stuff around. New items. Same things going on down here. Mm, I don't have an error code stuff going on down here or fixed up, did I? No, I do not. I knew, I knew I'd miss something somewhere. That's incorrect. It should be deinitialized graphics. So on ooh. Yeah, okay, where is this? Deinitialize. Okay, that's another thing I need to do. Uh right there. So on let's say registration registrar here on this thing. Open that file. Close that. Close that. When I'm on doing on initialization, I, I go into that. I need to call a specific one for a deinitialized graphics. This needs to be very specific because much like this, I don't want to accidentally deinitialize something two times. There should only be one. There needs to be very clear reference counting going on here. Where is the function material? Uh, mesh load on create do 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 on destroy great De there we go deinitialize I need, I need one down here for needs to be above this deinitialize graphics to 
two, three, uh, no, not vertex descriptor, right? Loader, that's not going to be here. It's going to error out in a second. Correct. Because it does not have graphics. And registrar down here. Similar. Not armature to be the other three though. And then at this point, I'll just uh, add a couple. I'm done with this. I'll add a couple commits and call it a night. So, uh, cheers.